Greetings, everyone. Well, it's closer look time again here on the Multimedia Chronicles. So what are we going to take a look at this week? Well, how about Knight Rider, the complete series on Blu-ray from Mill Creek? Welcome back. So, Knight Rider. Knight Rider was a show that I watched a lot growing up. Um, it was easily one of my favorite shows in my um, almost teen years. <laughs> um, there actually was a really cool DVD set that was put out by Universal a few years back, which I kept meaning to get, but I never did for some reason. I don't honestly know why. But it looked like this. And one of the cool things about it was if you press the button on the front of the box, it would do this. Huh? How cool is that? And what's even cooler about it is you could actually change the battery. If the battery died, you could actually change the battery. Like it was just, you, you'd flip open the lid and there'd be a little battery case in there and you could just swap it out. So very thoughtful on the part of Universal, not only to give us such a cool box set, but um, to make it easy to change the batteries. Because I've had a lot of sets in the past that have had sort of gimmicks like that, where you push a button and it makes a sound or something lights up. But the, the battery is like buried inside the case somewhere where you'd have to actually rip the thing apart in order to change it. But uh, not with the Knight Rider set, man. So anyway, I kept waffling on that and waffling on it for ages and ages and ages. And then the word came down that Mill Creek had actually got the rights to re-release the series. Uh, they released it on DVD and Blu-ray. I couldn't believe it. We we're actually getting Knight Rider in high definition. Um, I, I had always naturally assumed that it was part of the era where things were filmed on film, but, but edited and mastered on video. So I wasn't sure if a Blu-ray was even possible, but no. Apparently they did the whole thing on film. So they just did straight up transfers uh, in high def of all the film prints. And now we have the entire series on Blu-ray, all four seasons. Now, this does not have any of the extras from the Universal set, which honestly I don't think had a ton of extras anyway. It was kind of the Universal Complete Series sets tended to be kind of sparse on extras. But um, it doesn't have any of those. And it also does not have the Knight Rider 2000 uh, TV pilot movie that was done. Uh, other than that, that that's all that isn't included. It, it's basically a bare bones set, just the episodes in high definition. So I guess if you want everything, technically speaking, you would need to pick up the uh, uh, the, the old DVD releases as well. Oh well. Anyway, let's head on down to the black box and we'll check out the Blu-ray set. Okay, here we go. So this is the complete series of Knight Rider on Blu-ray from Mill Creek Entertainment. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, they got like this big deal with Universal where they acquired the rights to do new DVD and uh, Blu-ray sets of a bunch of their classic TV shows. Um, a lot of these shows had actually been transferred to high definition some years ago and made available in the UK. I remember there was a UK set of Knight Rider available a few years back. So the big question, of course, was, are we ever going to see those here? Huh? Huh? And, well, lo and behold, we're starting to see them here. There's still a few more that uh, they've... Uh, they, they there's still a few more that actually do have Blu-ray releases overseas that we haven't seen domestic releases of, such as Buck Rogers in the 25th Century um, and Columbo. You know, I'm a big Columbo fan. So hopefully we'll see those at some point. So in the meantime, everybody, uh, you know, support the, the existing releases because uh, I don't know about you, but I'd love to see more classic TV shows get the high-def treatment. So let's take a look at this set here. All right, so that's the front and this is the back. There we go, the Hoff himself looking all cool and ready for action. And there's the spine. We've even got the logo on the top. And then underneath, we've just got the basic uh, show, like copyright info and whatnot. And then inside, we've got all four seasons spread across four individual Blu-ray 
uh, keep cases. Now, as far as I'm aware, they're not planning to make these available individually, like not offer season sets. Who knows, that may change at the time of this recording. Um, it's only available in this complete series set. Now, that said, I got this set for about $46 US. So that is a steal for for a set like this. Getting a complete series on Blu-ray, like, come on. And picture quality actually looks really good. There's uh, basically four or five episodes per disc. And, um, yeah, it, it looks great. Film grain is intact, and it's in the correct uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And uh, it's wonderful. So both Rosie and I have both been really enjoying this. Her seeing it for the first time, me, you know, revisiting it after how many years. I basically haven't seen these since they were uh, originally on. All right, so let's uh, let's crack this open here. I'll give you a look at the inside. So there's no interior art on the insert, but uh, one thing you may notice: each season is four discs. And if we pop this off, you'll see that they're actually stacked on top of each other. Yeah, not a big fan of that, but I mean these are Blu-ray. So you can see no no scratches. They are nigh on indestructible as far as scratch resistance. You see the camera? Hey, hi camera. How's it going? <laughs> so yeah, so I'm not gonna take all the discs out and show you, just take it as read that they're all all the same. They're all two discs stacked on top of each other. But uh fits nicely in the keep case. So essentially, I guess if you want to be careful about taking them out, you uh, probably want to take out both discs and just kind of carefully separate them. So um, I should mention also the seasons are numbered on the spines. If you look there, you'll see a number one. And then here we have season two. Very nice, very nice. Actually, really nice covers on this, you know, showing Kit looking all slick and cool in the dusky light, and then Michael Knight looking all badass and ready for action. Yeah, very cool indeed. And then if we open this up, again, same thing, two discs stacked on top of each other. Yeah, it's, I kind of wish they uh, would go back to the paper sleeves, to be perfectly honest, because at least those were... Uh, you know, we keep the discs separate and uh, tidy. And there's the spine there. So season uh, season two, very nice. Okay, and then carrying on, we have season three. There we go. Looks like uh, Michael got a haircut there. <laughs> Kit looking awesome as always. And there we go. Very nice, very nice. And open her up, and yeah, same thing again. There we go. Okie dokie. Honestly, I mean, I don't know what more I can really say about this. I mean, it's it's Knight Rider. <laughs> um, if you're watching this, chances are you're familiar with the show. You know what to expect. I mean, it was essentially the uh, the mystery of the week with lots of car action. And, uh, you know, and, and very suitable for family viewing. I mean, it's uh, Michael Knight is pretty much the perfect good guy. He's just virtuous and uh, always uh, wins in the end. And Kit is, of course, I mean, what kid wouldn't love to have a car like Kit, right? Just the ultimate supercar that talks back to you. And uh, there we go. That is that. So I'm just going to take a quick peek here because I don't think there's anything more. Yeah, no. Um, as I mentioned in the comments there, uh, the Knight Rider 2000 pilot movie is not included. And that is it. So it is strictly the four seasons of the original series. No extras, no bonus material, nothing. So if you want Knight Rider 2000, I think you still need to track down the... Uh, the old season four DVD set. Now, one thing that's nice about this, and the same thing went for the uh, complete series set that Universal put out, of course, is uh, the original DVD sets of Knight Rider that were put out were actually um, 
flipper discs. They were the dual sided double or uh, dual layer double sided discs that uh, Universal was kind of notorious for back in the day. I had the first season on DVD a while back, and uh, yeah, sure enough, there were some there was some skipping, some playback issues, and whatnot. No such problems with this. I mean, a it's Blu-ray, and b they're single sided, and uh, c it looks fantastic. So. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and feel free to click on my Amazon link down below and uh, check out if you can get a deal on this uh, set. Because if you're a fan of Knight Rider like I was growing up, you are in for a treat. It has never looked this good before. It's just awesome. Yeah, so not a big fan of the stacking. <laughs> uh, it would have been nice, I guess, if they had used slightly thicker cases so they could uh, either have them on their own hubs or or like with a tray in the middle for the the middle two discs or what have you but oh well i mean it's blu-ray so i can't be too concerned about it because blu-ray is nigh on impossible to scratch anyway um if it was dvd i'd be a little more concerned i, I don't know if the dvd version of this set is done in the same way with like a, a a spindle or a stack or what have you i know some of their recent dvd sets have been that way they haven't used the old paper sleeves method for quite some time but uh yeah rosie and i have been watching this uh we watched the pilot episode together and she absolutely loved it um she actually didn't know anything about knight rider so she went in totally cold and i made sure not to tell her anything she knew there was like a supercar in it but that was about it and uh at first she wasn't too keen on watching i was like oh, i don't want to watch that and it's like no no trust me you know this was a big show for me when i was a kid and i think you'll really uh enjoy it so we watched the pilot episode and you know not even 10 minutes into the pilot episode she was already loving it even before kit showed up <laughs> but when he got to the part where kit talked for the first time that was it i mean she just she was just amazed like uh, i didn't know the car talked but <laughs> so then it just became like that extra few notches of cool um up to that point we'd seen like how fast kit could drive and things like that and seen some of the other uh, features but uh, but the icing on the cake was that Kit talks. And uh, yeah, she, like I, I think really enjoyed a lot of the sass that Kit gives to Michael. Um, also, there's a really funny scene in the pilot. Uh, there, there's these two uh, car thieves who keep trying to find an opportunity to steal Kit. Well, later on in the pilot, they finally do. And of course, you know that's not going to end well. <laughs> So uh, Kit takes them for the ride of their life and then uh, literally ejects them out of the seat and uh, they land, they, they crash down on the hood of a police car. He's like, here, take them. But <laughs> and then Kit just drives off. But um, yeah, it's a lot of fun and uh, uh, I like the humor and sort of the cheese factor of it. I mean, it's very self-aware of the cheesiness and uh, and just a lot of fun fun for the whole family so needless to say rosie and i will be watching many many more of these all righty well that is it for this week's closer look hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next week for another one whatever it may be so until then thanks for watching big thanks to my patreon sponsors uh be sure to join us on the discord chat just to you know chat about all things geeky and have a grand old time we have lots of fun over there and uh, we'll see you next time until then sayonara